think previously when I was younger, I would have found that quite hard. Um, when I was at Sussex, it would be Matt Pryor that would come back from England duties, and you kind of feel like you'd really want to run at a kind of season and stuff. Whereas now, um, obviously being a bit older, playing you know, being playing a lot more, um, actually you kind of you just take it as it comes. Really, um, it doesn't really affect you mentally. Um, you always want to play, um, but I think the fact that I've only had, I think, I only played two games because of the washout. You can't really tell if you're in great form or bad form, really. You know, you got one score and then a couple of low scores. So, um, yeah, just nice to keep ticking over in that meantime. Um, and I think the boys have obviously really benefited from Rooty and Jolly being around because, you know, obviously best in the world at what they do. Um, and it's only a good thing that they're um, around the boys. So, um, yeah, it's nice to go back into the changing room, you know, freshen up and stuff. But, um, yeah, it should be good in the next kind of period of cricket. I was going to say, it must be great in that respect that you kind of go in, you know, toe to toe with, you know, best, who's arguably one of the best wicket keeper batsmen in the game. You know, it must be great for you to kind of drive you on and improve your game as well. Yeah, I think, yeah, definitely. I mean, I wouldn't say toe to toe. Like, you know, Blue obviously is the best in the world. He's best in the world for a reason, but it's always really nice to kind of, you know, if you're if you're not in the team and you're making way for these guys to actually still be around them and stuff because of what they bring to the to the side and obviously, you know, kind of their cricket knowledge. You, you know, just talking about cricket you know, and how they go about their work and what they do is, you know, it's it's a way to learn. And, um, yeah, it's it's been really good. The phrase we keep hearing is, um, you know, the white ball cricket at the Royal London competition has, has come at the right time for the for this group of players. Um, is the thinking behind that, that that the batsmen who maybe have struggled might find a bit of form and, and loosen up a little bit when they play that format? Yeah, I think so. I think um, you, you only have to look at scores around the county and stuff that, you know, it's been a tough period for batters, really. Um, and I think, yeah, white ball, obviously, try and whack it into the stands once or twice and it stops, you know, seaming and swinging. So hopefully it gives the batters a little bit more confidence, you know, a bit more licence to kind of open up their arms a bit, play some shots. But, you know, I think, you know, you want runs under your belt. You know, that's the confidence that you need. And, and hopefully that will kick you on to, you know, scoring runs with a red ball and stuff. But, yeah, it's been tough on, on all batters across around the country competition we've done quite well in you know in recent years we've, all, we've always been there or thereabouts haven't we you know it was a frustrating game here in the semi-final of the competition last year we just one mm. class innings one ton from one world-class player that, that took it away from us mm. yeah I think well I think that's the good thing about like our 50 over cricket is it you know it's not too far removed from you know how we go about our Red Bull cricket we're quite positive in what we do in Red Bull and that kind of you know goes into our white ball cricket especially 50 overs it's quite a long time um, and and our squad as well kind of lends itself to to the game pretty well you know we've got a lot of world class all rounders you've got Brez you've got Liam you've got Dave Willie um, we've got you know good strong batters at the top of the order we've got world class spinner in Rash so we've kind of got all um, all bases covered we just need a good keeper and then we're sorted <laughs> I was going to say um, it must be great to have a rash back as well because obviously yeah. you know, with, with him not playing the red ball stuff, you know, he, you know, he's a big contributor, isn't he? To any success we're going to have in white ball. Cricket. Yeah, absolutely. Well, similar to talking about Johnny and and um, um, Rooty, you know, when they come back and you know, learning from them and seeing how they go about their business, Rash is exactly the same when he, you know, when he comes back from white ball. He's around that England team, you know, which is arguably the best in the world for it, you know, and they play a ridiculous brand of cricket. It's so good to hear how, you know, he approaches his cricket, you know, how they approach their cricket. It's really good. And finally, uh, up to Durham, to um, Chester Street, um, in front of the Sky Cameras, um, mm. day and night, uh, you know, it's, it's what it's all about, isn't it? It's kind of all... A little bit of a sign that you know the summer of cricket's here, I suppose. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's always usually pretty chilly at Chester Street, but yeah, hopefully under lights, kind of a bit of a derby. Obviously, not you know not a roses clash, but you know a good local team that we have quite a good rivalry against. It'd be nice to to get our campaign under you know underway with a good win. Finally, what do you make of them as a, as a team? Obviously, they struggled last year a little bit, um, you know. But as you say, you know, it's probably bigger game for, for them than it is for us you know mm. they'll be really up for this and, and knocking us off won't they yeah absolutely I think um, yeah they've been you know it's been hard on them as a club and stuff and they've been you know dealt a poor hand and stuff a little bit but that doesn't mean that, that they you know they've got some good young players and I'm sure actually you know you look at young players around the country they're all 
approaching white ball in quite a kind of positive manner. So it wouldn't surprise me if they really, really kind of, you know, prepare well and, and really try and target, you know, winning a trophy in, in, in the 50 over comp.